Hi everyone and welcome to today's video and happy Monday when you see this. I apologize for my dog in the background. His uh, best friend the mailman is here so we're just gonna go with it. I hope he's not too loud on the camera. I don't think he is but um, we'll just get started here. So today we are focusing on the third section of the workbook which is and I believe it is the forgive yourself. Yes forgiving yourself. And this is so important, especially if you've ever made big mistakes in your life or if some, it's not even just with you, it's just with anybody in your life that has done you wrong in your life. If you've been through a traumatic experience in your life or if overall you just want to forgive yourself for any sort of bad decision that you've made in your past, this is the time to do it. Now, Maybe one of some of you out there didn't have anything traumatic happen or didn't have any bad mistakes made, but you never know for your future. So this is why I included this into my workbook here. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good section. Um, so I hope you stick around to find out about it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below so you stay updated on my channel. And hit make sure you hit that bell so you stay notified when I upload. It's very important to hit that bell nowadays with the YouTube algorithm. So, without further ado, I am going to doodle on the first page here. You can doodle along with me if you have the workbook. And if you would like to purchase my workbook, the link will be in the description box down below, along with my first ever workbook, Spring Into Action. So without further ado, let's get started with doodling the cover page. I did here was I decided to do some cloud stuff again. I don't know, I've been really digging clouds recently in my November Plan With Me video and in my last uh, spring, in, not spring into action, <laughs> falling for yourself series video. Um, I did this, but pretty much I just put forgive yourself and others, turn your lemons into lessons, aka turn your pain or your mistakes into lessons learned in your life. And I just wrote forgive and then I wrote love your mistakes because you should love your imperfections and any mistakes that you've made. Again, I apologize for my dog in the background. So let's move on to the next page here. So I wrote a little thing here and it says forgive yourself in this really cool style lettering that I made. Um, again, I apologize for my dog. Um, focus on your emotions. What emotions do you feel when you think of your past self? What triggers these certain emotions to occur? Welcome in these emotions. Alright, so let's move on to the next page here. So, I forgot that I put this um, as a title of my thing, but it says, Turn Your Lemons Into Lessons, which we were just talking about, and that's my slogan on my channel um, that I have incorporated. So, yeah. So, oh, excuse me. What are your bad slash negative, excuse me, what are your bad slash negative memories from your past? Okay, and what did these negative memories teach you? Your journey is ending. Tell me you'll never come back. All right, so have a conversation with your inner critic. What is the voice in your head saying when you think of your past? Daylight is fading. Sometimes your inner voice will be quite critical with you. How can you reframe some of the those critical things in your inner voice said to a more optimistic statement? My heart is happy. Alright, next page. What um, not what. <laughs> Write out some positive statements you can say in your head or out loud that are more compassionate about your past. So tightly, only a memory. Quiet the audience. 
audio tape skipping in your head, what thoughts do you often hear over and over in your mind? How can you stop the negative thoughts that repeat in your head? For example, say a positive affirmation or you could end the statement with yet. For example, I am not successful yet. This section is a very, like, really deep section that I wanted to keep a lot of the things that I wrote private because it's more for me to work on. Um, but I shared the questions with all of you just so then you could have them in case you want to journal about them or as we fill it out together, I at least say the questions out loud so you can take your time to answer the questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited for um, just my future endeavors. This was a very eye-opening uh, section as well to like forgive yourself for your past mistakes and everything. And I'm sorry I didn't really talk much. It's just it's more of an internal thing to work on this kind of workbook rather than a talkative one like the Spring into Action series. But I thought I would still bring into the series so then you know, you can still write out your answers and work on each of your um, self-love journeys on your own and in your own time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know how do you forgive yourself for the things in your life. And so without further ado, I am going to continue the rest of my work day and I hope you all have a fantastic Monday and I'll see you all in the next video on Wednesday. Bye everyone.